Hi guys, this is Outbox Sports, and we are talking about Jose Reyes, and if you guys haven't heard, he was signed by the Mets, re-signed to a minor league contract after his domestic violence incident, and I guess, I guess it's more than an incident. It's a debacle. But, yes, a debacle, <laughs> as Manny says, a debacle. Right. So, people are saying that the Mets were really insensitive in re-signing him, and they didn't make a stand against domestic violence like they should have, and some people are just saying, you know, you do whatever it takes to win, whether it's taking a player like this. So, yeah. I want to see what you guys think. I, I have an opinion on this as well, because it's a... Touchy, touchy subject. Touchy. I mean, when it comes to domestic violence, it's it's tough because it's at the forefront of the issues in all sports. So I do think the Mets are looking out for their best interest in winning because they do need a spark. But at the same time, when it comes to domestic violence, I think it should be like a hands-off thing. I mean, you really shouldn't touch a guy or give a guy another opportunity until it's all cleared up and it's proven that he's innocent in the situation. So I think right now it's a little bit tough for the Mets, but... Jose Arias, what he was to the organization initially before they he got they got rid of him, they brought him back, and now just touching with domestic violence, it's it's, it, I don't want to say it's insensitive of them, but at the same time they're it's a business and they're looking out for themselves. Mm -hmm. But if I were the Mets, I wouldn't have even bothered to give him that minor league contract because of the issues that domestic violence can bring them. Right. Yeah. You look at you know what happened with Ray Rice, right. um, and nobody touched him. Like he was a you know top five running back in the in the NFL and then, you know, has this domestic violence, uh, you know, clear, you know, on camera recorded, right. like, and nobody touches him. And I, I think that is, you know, our, you know, Jose Reyes hasn't been, you know, like he's been accused of a lot of things, mm -hmm. but he hasn't actually gotten in trouble for anything. Mm -hmm. So I think you're right in saying that since it's not cleared up, that it's still kind of looming in the air. It's probably not the best publicity for the Mets. Right. To give a little background <clears throat> on this, they the MLB did an investigation. So basically, although his wife did not press charges, yeah. they came to the conclusion that you know this happened, and that's where the 51 game suspension came in. He lost seven million dollars, and so now he also basically lost his job on the Rockies since Trevor Story came in proved himself, mm -hmm. took his spot. So they got rid of him. So at the end of the day, like I do think he you know, got that punishment from the MLB's domestic violence policy. And I think that's really worth mentioning is that they do have a policy in general because how many sports don't? Yeah. You know, and okay. they didn't have it for a long time, yeah. for the past two years. I think it's funny you bring up Ray Rice because we look at Ray Rice now, he's done. His career is over. Mm -hmm. He punches his fiance, his wife, and elevator. there. Look at a guy like Greg Hardy. Mm -hmm. Greg Hardy... If you look into his case, the things that in the police report that he was choking her out to death, like she almost at one point begged him like to kill her, you know, and this guy gets a job with the Dallas Cowboys like it's nothing. And I just think the timeline is, is, is what like everyone has to worry about. We see uh, Jose Reyes, he's back. He got a 51 game suspension. Yeah, but now he's he's already back, even though, you know, things haven't been cleared up. Ray Rice, his career is over. Yeah. Greg Hardy is back. Mm -hmm. I think... The, the league, the NFL, the MLB, NBA, everybody, NHL, they, mm -hmm. need a, they need a better way to handle the situation. No one should be let off or be welcomed back so quickly, especially with domestic violence at mm home. -hmm. I mean, I think at the end of the day, players, um, you know, on the professional standpoint, is they're held to a higher standard. And mm -hmm. um, you have so many people who may not even like sports or, you know, they look up to these people. They are amazing athletes and they, mm -hmm. they go beyond their sport. So... It's tough because it's a double-edged sword. It's do you hold them to a higher standard or um, you know, do you give them a second chance? And I think that it's, it's tough to figure out what is the right way because there is no rule book and um, there's no you know, like right way to handle something of this um, you know, severity. But it's, it's hard. It's how, how do you juggle it when these cases are becoming so much more prevalent? And, um, what yeah. standard do you set? You know? Yeah, and I think you know, the Mets are getting a lot of the heat for this and the MLB in general. But like, really, the only finger you should be pointing at is Jose Reyes. Like, he's right. the one you can who yeah. messed yeah. up. If you think about it, though, do the Mets really need Jose Reyes right now? This is a team need, who's yeah. just in the World Series. I mean, all the injuries are just they, trying to fill in those spark. gaps. Yeah. Yeah. Do, yeah. Do you really need a player that badly to go to sign, you know, a minor league contract and uh, like get all of this bad publicity? Like, I I completely agree mm -hmm. that. You know, in, even what you said, that it's not on the Mets, it's not on the Rockies, it's not on the commissioner of the MLB, it's on Jose Reyes yeah. as a person. 
Yeah, like he, what he, he did. He has was to figure some. Awful. Yeah, it's but terrible. Was it yeah. worth it to the Mets for all yeah. this? That's what, yeah. That's exactly the point. Is like you know, like how much is he actually going to contribute to a World Series? Exactly. I mean, yeah, they're looking for people you who know, are have line. more speed. They don't have a ton of speed. They're looking for you know people to. I yeah. mean, they got him originally to fill in for David Wright mm-hmm. with their base. I don't know where they would put him now since you know Flores is doing a pretty good job at that, but. At the end of the day, if the Mets had just accepted him with open arms and were like, you know what, whatever, like, you know, you've been on the team, we know you, mm-hmm. we're going to take you back, fine. But they put some, I mean, that would be awful, but they put conditions on it. Mm-hmm. And he did get his punishment, he served his punishment, and then the conditions that they set were, you need to continue counseling. Because part of the MLB domestic violence <clears throat> policy is you do counseling during your suspension. Okay. And so Sandy Alderson, GM of the Mets, he said that he would have to continue that if he wanted to stay on the team. So he's not ignoring it. You know, mm-hmm. He knows it's a problem. There's mm-hmm. things you can work through. I mean, hopefully it was a one-time thing. If it's not a one-time thing, definitely oh, don't give him a second chance. He's done. Course, he's done. Yeah. And, like, I mean, to me that speaks to the type of person he is. I'm not going to be a fan of him personally ever again. But at the end of the day, the Mets, mm-hmm. they did. Uh-huh. See, I mean, the Mets, like, would, you, would the, you be a fan of like Their high-end organization, <laughs> what they've been doing, their management, I mean... They, they, they have some glaring holes on the roster if they want to make the World Series again. And then the one big move that they've made so, more, so far has been bringing Jose Reyes back in. I mean, to say you're a World Series team, if you can't build up a trade or with a prospect or one of your six pitchers that you oh, have yeah, yeah. to kind of get something who has a clean slate but maybe not the upside that a healthy Jose Reyes has, just so you can kind of avoid this issue and not have it tied to your organization. Oh, yeah. Perfect world, you pick someone else. Right. It's mm-hmm. just that's mind-boggling to me with the Mets management, how they decided to go about this move. I get it. It's a cheap move. It's a low-risk move. Yeah. But at the same time, when it comes with domestic violence issues, that to me would have just been a hands-off issue. I wouldn't have even bothered to deal with it. And I probably would have gone with a different option with a trade. And I mean, once you get that suspension on you, it means, yeah, I did it. Yeah. Which is, to me, kind of where it draws the line. Sometimes you separate them professionally and personally. Like, personally, like I don't think you're a good person if you even have the capacity to do that. Right, I mean, to draw yourself to do that to you. professionally, you can still be a great player, yeah. of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You just kind of have to take it with a grain of salt and say, okay, like, I'm a Mets fan. He does well for the Mets. I'm not going to... Yeah, I mean... I'm, I'm not going to be like, oh, we shouldn't be winning... Because Jose Reyes is on the field. Like, no, like if the Met, if, you know, if this move ends up being great and Jose Reyes comes and, you know, is even three quarters of the player that he was when he did, you know, was that all star on the Mets before, like, I really doubt that anybody's going to say, oh, we shouldn't have gotten Jose Reyes. Right. He's stealing, you know, a base every game. Like, he's just fast. Like, he. He's like he was the one of the leader. Him and David Wright were the leaders of the Mets for yeah. so many years. Like people are people I think should be happy that he's back. Regardless of I mean obviously it's ter- like I'm not trying to like belittle like a problem You're like, saying, that. like a game standpoint. I'm just saying like standpoint. from a fan from a fan standpoint it would be wrong to just like you don't I mean I, I don't want it to sound I don't want it to sound like I'm being say. shallow. But, like, that's the reality of sports. Right. It's people do things. I do things. Manny does things. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm, it doesn't change my opinion of people. Like, I'm just I'm just saying that if he's winning, yeah, if he's winning, if they're winning, thing. Game, if they're winning games, then, I mean, then it doesn't matter. I mean, well, K mentioned earlier, you know, for some, not for some, like, weird reason, but professional athletes, especially, are held to a higher standard. The same standard would probably hold, like, a politician or yeah. a famous celebrity mm-hmm. or things like that. So... When you have a case like this, or domestic violence, PEDs, things like that, I think a punishment, yes, should be assessed. But at the same time, they had to get back to work. Granted, this is not the only job available for him. You know, there are mm-hmm. millions of other jobs in America, of course. But you know, one for one to be like completely taken out of their career for something like this, it could be a reach because at the same time, they are still a person, like you mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to separate, yeah, that, yeah, like, like they, you see them as, like, as a human. People make so. mistakes. And they, I mean, they chose a job that has high stakes. They're in the limelight all the time. They chose this lifestyle, and yeah. they know that people are watching them all the yeah. time. They know that they have this attention and on their back. And very good money. So it, it makes it that much more imperative that they make the right decisions because, mm-hmm. again, they are the role models. So... Um, you know, when you look at these things, it's it's maybe not ruined his career necessarily, but also is it a systematic problem? Is it, you know, is it a one-time thing? Can he get a second chance? Um, he chose this job, and I think the responsibilities that come with it are his responsibilities to uphold for all of his fans and 
I mean, for the sports world in general. So it's it's tough to mm -hmm. to decide. Yeah, no, but I think you can be like upset that Jose Reyes yeah. is on the team because oh, you want your you want your team yeah, to be people that are reputable, respected. Mm -hmm. Like I don't want someone with an awful background on yeah. my team. I mean, I want to win, of course, mm -hmm. but I just don't like, want that's, to that's how... team. I want a scumbag on yeah. my team, and I want to win. And that's yeah. why I love the Giants organization, is because they they are very big on personal character. I just my I, I mean I hope I didn't come across as like being shallow no. about <laughs> this because I clearly think that Jose Reyes is in the wrong. He clearly needs to go through his counseling and everything that he does. I don't think that it's a bad. It, it's completely unfair for the Mets to be called, you know, like domestic could be like, they're fine with it. Like they're going to let it slip. They're not letting it slip. They need to do this as an organization to be, to get better. And it's something that they need to do to get better. And so they're not going to be like, okay, we're not going to take him because he has this issue. Exactly. He served his time. He did his time. Like, 51 like games. The he, yeah, yeah. Right. Conditions. That's the one thing I think is that. I think play, that's now, so hard. Now, don't get in trouble again and play ball. And, and if he did get in trouble for. again, I have no doubt that the Mets would just be forgetting. Exactly. You're done. Exactly. No, so exactly. I, don't, I don't think they're totally cool with this. No. Like, at the end of the day, like I said, Jose Reyes, he's the one at fault. Let us know in the comments what you think. I mean, I think Jose Reyes is up. I, I, oh, of I course hope everyone would yeah. say I mean, that. Yeah, definitely. definitely. But let us know what you think of the MLB, the Mets organization in general. And give this a like if you liked it. Videos from this week and past weeks on the right. Subscribe yes, over right here. here. Social okay. media. Social media, Twitter, Facebook, you got Instagram. Theo. Theo. Ross. Kate. 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 Bye guys, thanks Kate. for watching. <laughs>